Death Stranding PC feels more like cinema than TV, thanks to Ultra Wide, says developer. Well, guess what, developer? Something ain't working right. As you can see on either side of the screen, I have these little black bars here. It seems to be an issue. Uh, now, the game version, as you can see at the bottom here, is 1.0, so this may get patched. To be honest, it's not even a big deal. However, uh, it is bothering some people, so I do have a fix for it. I didn't come up with the fix for my, uh, by myself. It was uh, it's off of Reddit, but it seems to be working. Uh, just a disclaimer, I haven't tested the fix uh, past the title screen. I'm not going to use the fix because I'm not sure if this is going to uh, break anything within the game or distort any 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 of the visuals within the game. So I'm just going to experience the game as it's you know as it was put out version 1.0. Uh, and I'm just going to play the game like that. Uh, down the line, if this isn't patched, I may use the fix. Uh, but for my initial impression of the game on PC, I have played on PS4, PS4, but for my initial impression of the game on PC, I'm just going to leave it as it is. However, some people uh, are driven crazy by any sort of black bars on their screen. So uh, this fix is for you. <laughs> uh, so if we go into the options here, you're going to notice that under the graphic settings, uh, even though this is set to 21 by 9, the maximum resolution I can select is 3360 by 1440. It doesn't go beyond that, and my display's resolution is 3440 by 1440, so uh, hence the black bars here. The only other options we have are 16 by 9 and windowed mode. There's no full screen borderless or full screen extended, it's just full screen or windowed. And then if we change this to 16 by 9 of course we get the 16 by 9 resolutions, which we definitely don't want. So there is a fix for this. Let's go ahead and exit the game. You're going to need HXD, which I will link in the description. And you're going to need these hex values on the top left of my screen here, which I will also paste in the description. So uh, it's pretty easy to do the fix. Uh, don't be, uh, you know, don't let HXD scare you. It's very easy to use. Uh, so once you've had that downloaded, you're going to want to navigate to the install directory for the game that can differ depending on where you have Steam installed. So navigate to your Steam directory and then Steam Apps, Common, Death Stranding. From there you will see ds.exe. Uh, go ahead and make a copy of that just in case something goes wrong. This way you don't have to re-download it or reinstall the whole game, which is about 70 gigs and uh, you'll be good to go. So all you need to do is take ds.exe and drag it into HXD. From there you want to go to search and then replace or hit control R. Now it's going to default to text string. You want to change the tab to hex values because that's what we're going to be searching and you want to change the search direction to all. You're going to want to take the uh, the first hex string here at the top 39 e 3 3f and paste it into the search for field and then depending on your monitor's resolution you're going to want to take either of these three hex strings here so in my case it's 3440 by 1440 I'm gonna go ahead and copy that paste it under replace with and then double check everything you're on hex values search direction is all you've got the right values here you're gonna to want to click on replace all so it replaced four occurrences of the original hex value. From there, you can click on OK and save it. And to save, you could just hit this disk icon here or File Save or even Control S. Go ahead and close out of HXD. You may notice in the install directory that you have settings.cfg. This, uh, editing this, I've tried to edit this. It doesn't exactly work uh, or it just doesn't work rather. Uh, so I wouldn't I wouldn't bother trying to replace the render uh, rendering with here. Uh, you can see that there's a you know windowed settings here as well. It just it doesn't work, so don't bother editing that. Uh, so let's go ahead and open Death Stranding. You can do that either through Steam or through the install directory. This is the one that we edited, ds.exe. So we'll open that. Now it may give you an error regarding uh, like the windowed resolution. So it says invalid graphic configuration, window setting ignore. So it's just going to ignore the, the window resolution setting from what I understand. So you can go ahead and ignore that. And uh, from what I believe, the second time you launch the game, you won't even get that error. If you do, you could just go ahead and ignore it again because uh, it doesn't seem to be an issue. So as you can see now, the game is taking up the entire screen. We don't have any black bars. 
uh, and it's not extending beyond the display. If I move my mouse here, it's you know it's hitting the edge as it should. Let's go into the options to check it out. Uh, so it still says 3360 by 1440. I'm sure that's not going to change. Uh, and like I said, I'm not going to use this fix yet. It is much appreciated. Uh, and some people may want to use it. However, you never know. There could be something in the game that's just not going to render correctly because of it. I highly doubt that. I think it's going to work just fine. Uh, but in my case, I'm just going to deal with the bars, you know, play a couple of hours, and then maybe apply the fix to see if anything changes. Uh, but, you know, for anyone that wants to use it, here it is. Uh, like I mentioned, the game version is 1.0. It just came out a few hours ago. So, you know, this could be patched in the future, or uh, it could be intentional. We never know. So, until they tell us. Uh, but that's it. Hope this helps somebody out. Peace.